And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today is a good, good day. We have researched aerial vehicles. Right now we're researching some genetic stuff just so that we can uh, keep these four little genetic things safe. Some of these we actually want, but uh, we'll come back to that later. Today we have other things we want to do. Namely, we want to put together an airplane so that we can go trading our drugs far and wide. Oh, and I should probably get those crops started on a time sphere. There we go. Soon we'll have more drugs for the airplane. All right, you guys. Time to get around to producing the parts for this airplane. You see, vehicles require their whole own special tree of things. And you can see here under the smuggler thing here, we have two engine blocks and one car transmission already in storage. We bought those, but we need to make four car alternators, four car or six car exhausts, three car suspensions, oh, all this junk. This requires us to make a garage bench. And I think I'm going to stick that over there. 220 steel and eight components. There are stuff you can do to improve its speed, but I don't think we're going to care. We're only going to be making airplanes for now. We might make a few vehicles later, but that's a little bit away. We have also reformed our ideology. At the end of the last episode, we'd gotten enough points, and this is what it looks like it. We've gone with prophesizing, whatever. We basically talk to people a lot and go, hey, have you heard about our Lord and Savior, whoever, read it. And uh, then it basically means we have seven times more likely that our people will talk to people and go, hey, have you heard about our super awesome savior and god guy? Uh, we also get a development points for converting new members, and if we obtain a relic, we get five development points. I'd actually be worth getting a relic just for that. That's about the only changes we've made. We'll probably make a few more changes to our religion, but for now, that should help deal with all of the, well, non-believers we have in our midst. Xenogenetics, uh, they're a pretty handy little area of technology in terms of what we can do with them, especially with our thrall zombie people. We can use these gene packs to augment them, which would be nice. Uh, there's a few things here we would really like to get our hands on. For example, we've got Gojuice Impervious. That I would really like to exploit later on. Preferably Gojuice Dependency, but uh, we can worry about such uh, quirks later in the future. For now though, we're going to need a gene bank. We'll throw one right there. And that will allow us to store those things before they, well, disintegrate. Those things need to be stored in a gene bank or they start to degrade out in the open. To make this plane, we're going to need all these bits and bobs here. So one quick screenshot later and a little bit of fiddling around and all of those parts will now be constructed here by Muppet. In a reasonable time frame, but for great expense. This is going to cost eight components for all of those alternators. The car exhausts don't cost components, they're just going to cost steel. Uh, that's four, eight, twelve, sixty. Yeah, that's 240 steel we got right there. Three car suspensions, that's going to cost us another three components. 30 silver and a bunch of steel. Uh, car wheels are going to cost us chem fuel and steel. Car wiring costs us steel and gold. And car fuel tank costs us steel and chem fuel. It's all for a plane though, so I suppose plane, fuel tank, plane suspension, doesn't really matter. We're going to build ourselves a plane, and we're going to trade drugs far and wide. Pretty sure there's a movie about this. Oh, great. A raccoon got into our drug stash. Um, we don't even have space in the fridge for you. Uh, Health-wise, nah, you'll take care of yourself one way or the other. Either you'll recover from the overdose or you'll die. I'm guessing, considering your body mass and the amount of flake you've consumed, you're probably dead as a doornail. Now, Tyler, where are you? You are meditating. No, 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 Tyler. We want you to come over here. We want to get back into the good graces of the Empire, and we've made some recent changes to our Empire policy when it comes to their casters. Uh, yeah, we, we've managed to get our hands on a few spells that make dealing with them so much easier. First off, I want you to yeah, open that there. Open that ancient crypto sleep casket if you wouldn't mind. We'll deal with that Ambrosia sprout in a minute. Oh, we got attacked by some stuff on the road. I think it was just some critters. We don't care. Uh, yeah, we want to capture this guy. And we will release them shortly. But first, we want to drain all of the Psi powers out of them. Normally, that would be a, you know, fatal, messy, and uh, liquefaction affair. But we now have the, the capacity to drain the Psi powers out of them without killing them. So here's how it goes. This Empire guy has a Psi link of level 9. Uh, Tyler here is going to cast Death Shield on them. They got this themselves the hard way by opening up this Psi cast. Oh yeah, we got Consumed Bodies, which put them right beside Death Shield, which we grabbed. So we use Death Shield, which basically means someone cannot die for 24 hours. I mean, they can be knocked unconscious because, you know, you take their head off or something, but they won't actually die from it, which should lead to the hilarious situation where you could end up with someone getting uh, Death Shielded, then they lose their own head, and then after they've lost their own health head, you could health swap their, well, Death Shielded corpse with a living person who would then take on all of their health negatives 
instantly killing them, but bring that shielded person back to like full health. It would be crazy, but cool. Uh, what are you doing? Feeding lavish meal. Uh, I suppose, yeah, go for it. Anyway, Tyler has done their part. Now it's time for Wojciech to do their part. In their gear, they're wearing the Drain Siescence Ring, which was, I believe, also created by Tyler, was it not? Yep, they've got Drain Siescence here, and they made a ring out of it using the Craft Sci Ring. So we're going to use Drain Siescence, which should be pretty painless. Normally, this liquefies the body and completely destroys it, and makes the faction hate you. However, we just went from Psy level 7 to Psy level... 11. All for no cost. Well, okay, we did have to drain the side levels out of this person, but they're fine. In fact, once the death shield wears off, they'll still be fine. This does not kill them in any way, shape, or form. They're they're completely fine for the rest of their lives. But even when the death shield wears off, don't worry, they're not going to liquefy like something from, you know, the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. They will be completely grand. Probably. I think. I mean, pretty sure. We shall now release them because we don't need them anymore. Actually, what's your religious level at? Oh, you know what? Let's uh, convert them first, then we'll release them. I mean, there's no point wasting the... If we convert them over to our religion, we gain one development point for our religion. And it also trains up our social. And here is the results of our uh, prolethizing or whatever the hell it is. Jason Fenwick tried to convert Chief Multihat to his own ideology. Chief Multihat reacted in anger and started a social fight. Well, of course they did. Hey, not 2% off them, but oh, they'll gain that back in a day. This is not going to go well for you. Ooh. That went actually a little bit better than I thought it would. Damn. Damn. Eh. Chief Multihat is a little bit young, it's been pointed out to me. They're 17, so they won't fully mature until they hit 18. Uh, they'll age up, I think, in a little bit. They're ooh, chronological age 15, biological 17 years, zero quantums, and two days. Okay, it's going to take actually a whole year for them to age up. Uh, we might use a little bit of magic to speed that along later on. Another Ambrosia Sprout? Uh, I'm pretty sure we got another one down here. Yeah, we also have this one here that's been here for ages. Uh, for people who have not dealt with Ambrosia Sprouts, let's do a quick rundown of how you deal with these so that you remember to harvest them. Zones. Grow zone. Set one up for every single last piece. Then select all the zones and click Allow sowing. That gets rid of the allow sowing option. That means your people won't come along and dig them up. Instead, they'll wait until these are fully ripened and then come out and harvest them. That's it. It's the way to automate getting these harvested when they fully mature. We could probably use Time Quake to grow those a bunch. No, no, let's not do that. And then there's another batch over here. We're going to be swimming in this stuff. Another conversion attempt. This time more successful. Suncrest is slowly losing their, their uh, uh, religion. All right, uh, where were we? You. You were hauling corn. No. You need to be going and training up some more. You're almost at shooting 11. It's kind of wasteful getting them up to shooting 11. They will eventually become no good at it anyway. But er, or their training will fade. The way this works is once someone hits level 11, or once they get up to a certain height, their training or their shooting training drops back down again. For example, Draco here has already reverted to level 10. And Willy here... If you look at their experience, they're at 12,084, and now it's dropped to, oh, 12,083. So it's slowly going to drop until they eventually go back down to level 10 shooting. But uh, we've gone to the theme, so level 11, it has to be for everyone who gets zombified. Of which, Opossum's actually reached level 11. We'll let them go a little bit beyond it, though. And how is it looking on the slave front? Slave Rebellion, Interville, 20%. Terror at 15%. We stuck them in between a couple of skull spikes just to help out. Uh, seems to be at terror 25%. I think a couple more skull spikes might make sure they... It reduces their chances of rebelling while they're in here. And converted. Welcome to the religion. Now... You can bugger off. Yep, that gave us a development point as well. Did it? Yep. Yep, yep. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. Get rid of all of that junk. You need to get off the tile. We shall release you and we'll throw some money at your faction so that they stop bothering us. That's just we'd like to get back in with the Empire so we can get a few Psy levels for our less uh, diligent lined people. Our people who have the trait to meditate at the tree, we've only got, what, four of them? We would like to have all the rest of our people giving a chance at Psy powers. For that, we kind of need the Empire. Otherwise, we'd have to go with the blindness meme and then we'd have to start cutting out people's eyes and I'd rather not go that way unless I really have to. Quest available mercenary pollution problem. What are Silent Neuroform? 
Well, yeah, I was literally just speaking about this. If you accept, he will deliver 643 toxic waste pants to packs by transport pod. Ooh. That's a lot of toxic waste. Hmm. We have 4.3 days. You know what? We might take that. In fact, I think we shall take that. Uh, oh, and... Possum? I think you've got enough shooting training under your belt. Uh, 2001. We'll give you one more day to train up. Once you've trained up for one more day, we are then going to use a, a, a ritual at the anima tree. The thing is, if we do it now, we can only bring along... Actually, no, we can use a possum even though they're slave. They don't have access to this area. But once they're in, we get to keep five pieces of anima grass, or a few extra pieces because we've got more. All right, with four additional participants, four anima grass will be restored at the end of the ceremony. So that means we'll keep four of the 20 grass. Just makes it quicker to get another person up and give them another silent level. And I'd prefer to have uh, this guy on board as well. It'll take another, like, 4,000 more experience into their shooting skill and uh, I'll trust them. Now, and up here you can see the Red Imperium have liked us by an extra 15 points because one of their members escaped the map unharmed. Opossum, you are finally ready for promotion. You've got 6,888 points in level 11 shooting. I'm thinking it's time you became one of us. Well, one of them? Uh, whatever way you want to phrase it. Let's get Tyler over here. Tyler, where are you? Yep, yep, perfect. Uh, I suppose there's no point making a ceremony of this, but uh, let's do a little bit of mind ripping. Okay, then we grab you, we do a mind break, and... After this, you'll no longer need to sleep, or worry about recreation, or slavery, or any of that junk. You are entirely super duper happy. You will never have any needs anymore. Uh, okay, there was a little bit of hypothermia going on there, but that'll be fine. You can get over that. Actually, how's these guys doing? Nope, you guys are fine. No hypothermia on you. We'll change you over to a proper clothing schedule, and we're going to be upgrading you shortly. Well, once we get that airplane built, we've got the parts for the airplane finished. We just need to finish the hangar. I, I think I made a mistake here. They're still classified as a prisoner, which is, you know, not good. So I've imprisoned them now. If we release them... I mean, they're a released... Thrall. Does that mean they just go back to being... No, they're they're taking them all the way out. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. They're, they're trying to get away. That's not good. Uh... Boy, check. Yep. Yeah, you've got... Skip, have you not? Yeah, we're gonna need that. Agree. Then we want you to skip that guy back. There you go. That was dumb of me. It's fine. Try to arrest them. They try any of that to run away again. There we go. Fine. Looks like we're just going to have to recruit them. But that's fine. That's fine. We have spells that can break people instantly. So Chris, get back here so that we can break them. This word of foretelling spell is really, really super handy. Resistance minus three. Excellent. Recruitment begin. Uh... Really nice that, that actually helped with religious as well. There's no spells that actually help with converting people's religion. You, uh, Perta is chatting to them. And they shall be one of us, finally. Okay, that was a bit messy. I should have imprisoned them first, then hit them probably with the mind flaying thing. I was just starting the linking ritual for Draco here when I realized that Muppet, our resident crafter, actually has the nature focus. I had completely blanked that. Should have noticed it last time I was looking in here, but okay. That means Muppet can get their psi levels up from this tree as well. Uh, where is Muppet, by the way? Oh, yep, they're on the way. They'll be here in time. Perfect. This gets Draco their first Psylink levels, and it also means that they'll start gaining Psy levels while meditating at this tr tree, which they do 24-7. We'll probably use it to open up a few more meditation paths for them, so they gain their Psy levels just that little bit quicker. And uh, no longer inspired Tim. Yeah, don't care. We're also hammering out this steel because, well, we've kind of... We consume a lot of steel, this colony. Just huge amounts. And uh, where's that quest, actually? The mercenary pollution problem. We're going to try and get rid of those waste packs with transport pods. That's going to require... Actually, let's just load them. Uh, we will load you with one thing. You should accept that. And then not fill you. And our launch radius is... Ooh, not enough. There's some people I want to pollute, and they're not in that range. Draco has finished the linking ritual, which means our best bet is probably to expand this out. I think we'll go with groups. Group Psy casting means they'll get more Psy focus gain because they're in a group of people. And they'll always be in a group of people uh, when they're meditating. Then the second one would probably be... I think the easiest one would be minimal. 
all we need for minimal is a single blank wall. So if we get a blank wall somewhere near here, it doesn't really matter. Just say there. I mean, everyone there can take advantage of it. A cold snap now in the middle of a volcanic winter? Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, all these plants are dead. We're also running a little bit low on corn, but honestly, I'm not too worried. I think we can last another few days without it. It's going to be a little bit cold for the next day or three, but we can live with that too. In fact, I think it's time we put together our plane. Uh, rotate it around. Uh, where will you fit? Right about there? Perfect. We have a nice long runway for you. As far as I'm aware, this is construction built, so uh, people will come along and start putting the parts together. Yep, there comes Idris with the engine. And what else are we missing? Oh, yeah, a lot of pieces. Oh, this is cute. There's a fox hunting Chief Multihat. Uh, where are you? Over there? You know what? Let's just have Chief Multihat wait for you. Just around the corner. Here, kitty kitty. Ooh. And there you go. Well, yep. One shot took out your entire body. The <laughs> same shot also took out your entire leg. Good times. Good times. All right, where were we? Yes. Oh, that quest. Uh, this one here. I need to keep an eye on this one. I need to accept that just at the last minute. It's actually cold enough that we could leave this stuff outside, but I'm not too worried about that. In fact, what's the range on a fully loaded launch pod? Yeah, that looks just it. What is that weird janky thing there? I have no idea. Normally it's a per... Okay, whatever. Don't care. It's it's wide enough. Perfect. We'll fill these up. We'll crank ourselves out some more fuel. Actually, we can't crank ourselves out some more fuel. Uh, we shall reset you back to 50%. In fact, we need this fuel for our plane. And as well as that, the, we don't have any spare corn. Oh, we do have some spare corn. We don't have any spare corn for food, so I'd rather not burn a bunch of it making more fuel we're not going to use just yet. And the plane finally starts getting built. Took 10 components, 400 steel, 2 fuel tanks, 2 wiring, 1 transmission, 3 wheels, 3 suspensions, 6 exhaust, 4 alternator, and 2 engine blocks. What do we get for all of this? Well, our very own cargo transport plane that allows us to trade far and wide. That is the main benefit. It takes a bunch of fuel to keep it running, but I am willing to pay that price for what it will bring. Uh, smuggler. No. Your name shall be Barry Seal. Yes. And we're going to have to fill you up. Uh, where is the fuel button? Ah, yes. Excellent. What's this? Refuel from inventory. Set target fuel level. Yeah, 120. Perfect. That might take a minute or two, but once it's fueled up, we can start putting people on board and we can start shipping our drugs. Uh, where? Actually, how is our local area looking? You will restock. That has actually been restocked. You know what? We'll fly. We will fly to our local shop. Just because we can. I should probably share the plan here. Uh, I'm just going to put Opossum in the war casket machine for a second to demonstrate. What we want to do is turn all of our people into, I think it's barrage war caskets. These are pretty damn tough. 200% armor sharp. This is the best sharp protection you can get. Blunt is, well, less common damage, but we... Uh, we can live with 90%, but 200% means most projectiles, they're just going to glance off us. It's very rare that anything can penetrate 200% armor sharp. It's very difficult. I mean, don't get me wrong, we could still get die if we, die if we get mauled to that, but unlikely. However, cost, it's pretty expensive. We want to source all these resources, so we're going to use our plane and drugs to get lots of uranium, plasteel, and components. The steel we should be able to mostly get on this map. If not, we can, we can buy that too if we absolutely need to. But we want to get everyone in, in those. So, Opossum, I've got to name them, Willy, Draco, and Chief Multihat. All of them, we want to get them into Barrage War Caskets. And we've got a couple more pawns we want to hire. We want to have five zombie wars. So, zombie warriors? Whatever you want to call them. Troll warriors. So, let's load up the plane. Actually, we'll load that up in the morning once everyone's awake. This thing is a bit different to, well... There's this form of vehicle caravan, but it doesn't work with planes. It only works with vehicles. And the vehicles, when I was looking at it, that only works if you have a clear line. For example, if we had a car in here, it would be unable to escape because there's doors and stuff. Like, it, it, there's no straight way out for the, the car. Also, trees block the path, anything like that. You'd sort of have to clear a path to each edge of the map to make sure that your vehicle could make it there. That would be a pain in the butt for us. So I just figured we'd jump straight to planes. Save us a bunch of time. Ah, Psychic Sooth Female. And a minus 24 outdoors. It 
is chilly. Chief Multi-Hat, how much does your gear protect you down to? Only minus 18. Wow. Okay. That's uh, not great. Huh. Actually going over to get that steel. We got that ages ago. Oh, we got plus steel. You know what? Not going to worry about it. We're going to top up this plane with as much drugs and money as we can load onto it. And then we're going to go take it for a test flight. The plane only has enough cargo capacity for, what is it, 460 kilos or something along those lines. That's excluding personnel, though. So you can stick four people in there on top of that. Oh, and another thing we might want to load in there is... Actually, we won't do it this time. But you can also load on chem fuel. So every time you stop, you can fuel up your plane from the fuel you're carrying with you. Once they've loaded up the drugs, you can see there's these arrows coming from the plane. It goes towards all the resources that are waiting to get chucked onto it. Once they're all loaded up, we'll select a crew. Probably two people. I don't think these can get ambushed, but if they can, I would prepare to, prepare, uh, prefer to be prepared for it. For pilot and co-pilot, we are going to load Bjorn and Wojciech. And done. We should now be able to launch. Ah, and here. You can actually see when we hold, hover over launch, you need a launch runway, and there can't be anything there like trees or anything like that. In fact, we are going to floor this. Uh, concrete should be fine. We are going to floor that in concrete while we're gone, just to make sure that no trees or anything try to grow back while we're away. And then you can launch and you can see the fuel costs. And, oh, no return trip. So once we go beyond, what, 60? Yeah, once you go beyond 60, there's no return trip on this sucker, which means we have quite a long radius. And as well as that, even if you do go out to, say, 58, and you want to go further, what you can do is land, buy fuel, refuel, and keep going. So it is theoretically possible to keep daisy chain and hopping everywhere. Uh, we're just going to fly local, though. Fuel cost is four. Yep, yeah, we want to trade with body pond. I don't know if you can land. And... A <laughs> little bit faster than normal. I don't know how balanced that is, I would say. Not very, but it did take us an awful lot of time to build it. Now, let's see what they have on offer. Ooh, perfect immunity, plus two. With fur, skin, and red eyes. That's basically just perfect immunity. That might be worth picking up for later. No, no, no. Can't get distracted. We're only here for a few things. Namely, we want all their components. We want their advanced components. We want their uranium and maybe some plasteel. You have 83 uranium? Yes. Can we afford to? Yep, we can carry it. That's 32 components, advanced component, uranium, plasteel, a psychic shock lance, chem fuel. Oh, and I probably should buy that that perfect immunity gene. I can't leave it behind. It feels wrong. It could just, I couldn't leave it there. All right, fine. We'll give you some more drugs for all that stuff. And done? Yeah, we're also picking up some chem fuel. Then we'll take all of that. We'll grab, no, this is the wrong one. Bjorn's caravan. Excellent. We want you to refuel from inventory because we bought that stuff. Then we want you to launch, and we want you to head straight down here uh, to Antioch. We want you to trade right there. As you can see, we were able to refuel when we landed, meaning you should be able to, like, as long as you stop at a place that has chem fuel, no problems. Ooh, someone's certainty has fallen from 87 to 82%. I should really use Bjorn's uh, uh, ideology thing. And perfect. We've landed again. We've gone to a whole new location. Let's see what they've got on offer. Ooh, perfect immunity. How? How is perfect immunity everywhere right now? Selling... Every single scrap of drugs we have, we're able to net ourselves three more advanced components, some uranium, but I kind of splurged and bought another shock lance and a gene pack. We have plans that involving knocking out other people, so let's just buy this stuff now. We are now incredibly broke. Muppet has reached level 14 in crafting, and relationships with Linolta have changed from 21 to 24 because of all the trading. Um, you, launch. We want you to... Yep, land it back here, please. And... Uh, yeah. Okay, now this is the weird thing. In my testing, you have to land, but you need to leave space to turn around, because to take off again, you can't just, uh, you know what, we'll find out. And done. Now this, we were able to do this all really quickly. Oh, and where is it? Item, health, pawns. We've got passenger and pilot. And I believe what you can do is you can swap them mid-flight. So if someone's getting too tired... You can basically swap them into the passenger seat, and people in the passenger seat can sleep depending on the time of day. And... Oh. <laughs> Did they make... They had little exclamation marks above them like they were about to uh, crash or get hit by the plane. Well, Barry Seal has arrived. They do not unload the cargo automagically, unfortunately. So... Yep, 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 yep. 
Yep, and I will leave the two gene packs in there for a second until we get a second one of these down. We sort of need somewhere to store these, and oh, yeah, the gene pack thing we'll get around to. But having good plants is great. I have an idea to make a super planter. It's a little bit dark, but I figure we can get someone to do all of our planting for us that will be absolutely excellent at it. And I mean, like, I mean, top of the line. Fire? Uh, oh, is this event? We still having a cold snap? Yep, yep, well, this will just keep everyone warm, I suppose. Guys, guys, guys. Put the fire. You can stop researching for two seconds, okay? Whew. Muppets. Including Muppet. We have just finished researching jump packs. I figure some mobility on our Thrall soldiers will be good because they're all going to be shooting specialists, meaning they can't get into melee. I mean, if someone starts to melee them, they literally can't hit back. Shooting specialists can't do melee at all. Uh, let's see what else we can knock out. Ooh, we should probably just do an auto research on that. We've got some assault rifles lying around. We could knock out a few of these techs, but I'm not seeing anything here that stands out to me. First up to be fully entombed in a war casket is Willy. They're going to be going into our, uh, our preferred ward casket type, which is Barrage. All right, buddy. You shall be excellent. Now, what was our color scheme for these guys? Well, I am kind of partial to the green, white, and gold, so let's just go with traditional Irish, shall we? Why not? Oh, there's actually a whole other palette of colors down here. You know, I just, I don't care. That should be sufficient. All right. Uh, does everyone want to get on that? Any of you guys, maybe? There we go. Someone's going to get involved. Just as so long as they bring them all the components before they freeze to death. Oh, wait. I put fireplaces everywhere. There's a fireplace here, 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 a couple more in there. We even stuck a couple of fireplaces in here. We're in the middle of a volcanic winter and a cold snap. It is mm, minus 16 outside. So we're just trying to make sure everyone stays reasonably warm. Everyone's just wearing dusters because that's what we went with. Um, is that all the components? There we go. Uh, Willie, you should be really happy about this. This is what you've been trading for. This is, this is what you were made for. Oh, and let's get your weapon ready. We're going with something slightly different. We're going with the War Casket Charge Lance. It costs 100 plus steel and four advanced components. It is expensive. Okay, uh, that might take another minute or three. There's no quality levels on these things, so we don't have to worry about that. But so long as the person producing it is a Class 8, eight construction. Ooh, and we've researched harps. Uh, do we need pianos? I, I think I'm just going to get a harp so people have music and we'll start researching beer and some of the other things. Ooh, there you go. How are you looking, buddy? Really slow. 3.3 movement speed. Uh, you come with grenade barrage. Uh, that basically means they fire out, I think it's three or four grenades that explode. And it's got a pretty decent range. Let's give it a test fire. Uh, we'll do it over water, maybe, or over here. All right, fire away. What do we got when you fire? Three, four grenades. Well, that'll make a mess. And how many of those do you get? Nope, you get four grenades. Needs to be reloaded with 25 to 100 steel. Well, okay. It's also got siege mode, which increases the range of any weapon they're carrying by 25%. Which is quite substantial. For example, this is the range right now with... Uh, in fact, let's turn that on, shall we? Yep, we can turn that on with... Uh, I'm using the rangefinder mod. I installed it after the last episode. We engage siege mode. There you go. Beautiful. Now, all we have to do is get you a charge lance and you will be good to go. You're going to be very slow, but you're going to be very tough and you're going to be able to shoot an awful lot. Which reminds me, we're also going to need to put together some jump jet packs for your team. We want to make sure all of them have jump jet packs because it makes them far less likely to die. Ah, here we go. It takes 30 plasteel, three components and some fuel. So just more stuff we're going to have to buy with the drug plane. Once it stops being so cold that we can't grow drugs anymore. I can see why they grow all their drugs in Colombia. Or they used to, allegedly. Well, that was the beer brewing very quickly. Uh, what's left? I think we've got most of the stuff we want. Just a case of knocking out minor things at this point. Well, geothermal power would take care of any power issues we were having. Though, I must admit, those uh, unstable power cells were absolutely perfectly timed. We plug those in, combined with the old ship chunk reactor we started with, it's just keeping us in power. Oh, and of course the wood fire generator. That means we still have about 190 watts of excess power on the grid. I think that works out. Uh, but I really could do right now with some extra... Man, we are running definitely low on food. If that cold snap would stop, how long has it been on? 2.7 days. We might actually have to start buying food or just eating simple meals. That's going to get real uncomfortable. I mean, we have plenty of meat to make simple meals with. It's just 
for not to. Oh, finally. The cold snap is over. And we can do another anima tree linking. Excellent. Uh, in that case, I think it's time for Willy's linking ceremony. Yeah, perfect. Five out of eight. Begin. That means Willy can start getting into Psy powers as well. This Draco one, I put in a wall segment and all that, but the moment I put in a wall segment, they stopped meditating at the tree. It seems, yeah, spreading out their Psy focus was probably a bad idea. Them being able to meditate at statues or trees or anything else like that means they're not meditating at the tree, which means they're not growing the grass. So I think we'd want to leave that until the end, until everyone's got Psy focus and assuming we don't want them meditating at the tree too often, or... Have them meditate here until everyone's got their powers, and then if we need more grass, we bring them back up to this location. Well, we would have their main meditation when we want them to really power level in here somewhere where they can take advantage of science bonuses and flame, all sorts of stuff, all simultaneously. Uh, actually, that's another thing we want to put in here is a morbid focus. Give me a... Ah, sarcophagus. Perfect. We shall make you out of marble. Yeah, perfect. We'll put you right there. We want to make it so that if people are meditating here, they get everything simultaneously, if at all possible. We can finally get in a crop of food. There you go. Perfect. And we'll just get out of there for a second. Oop. And we'll let everyone back in once the time is over, or the time's for us up. And that should allow us a quick crop of corn to keep us going. Oh, and down here we've made ourselves two war casket charge lances. Once the time sphere wears off, which is now... We're going to have Willy come back and collect it. We want them to equip their War Casket, and it's time for Opossum to get themselves a name and get War Casketed up. They're about to become part of the Thrall team. This shall be the colour of your War Casket, so you can stand out on the field of battle. Uh, you shall... You shall soon be reborn. And Willy has grabbed their gear. They've now got their War Casket Charge Lance. This thing... Oh my god, this thing is incredible just uh yeah that's the range on the war casket charge lance and then when we go into siege mode that goes up to that far so they can shoot targets from this distance away as well as that the accuracy is really good 65 percent at close which is with if within three cells but at uh, say long range which would be over 40 cells still at 85 percent it does 50 damage a hit but it fires in bursts of three Meaning it will fire three shots at you, and each shot will do 50 damage if it hits you. 50 damage is enough to take out the torso of a human. So if it hits you center mass, you're dead. You don't need a headshot, you don't need anything like that. You hit him anywhere, you're taking off whatever you hit when it's a human. And when it's a centipede, 50 damage is... And it gets nastier from there. Wait until we start putting sidecasts on top of that. That's, uh, that's gonna get unfortunate. And, uh, hey, anyone wanna get around to... Uh, come on, like, anyone? Because of the cold slap, snap, we have been infested with a mega sloth. We're going to have to uh, get rid of them in a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll bring back Draco and Willy and use some shotguns. And there is a psychic ship. Ooh. Well, that's a lot of sleeping centipedes. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. You know what? Let's cancel the meditation for today. Uh, ooh. Should we? Damn it, this is going to be problematic. See, the thing is, I want to get Draco and Willy to start using their Psy powers. Uh, Draco's only going to have one point to spend. Willy will have two. Oh, if they could have a few more points, that would be great. Mm. We may just have to lure those guys into our kill box and start killing them. But there is a, so many of them. 52 Scythers, that is... Mm. Let me think for a minute. First thing we did is we got Chris to drop their staff. They were just getting too much damage from the high psychic, or from the low psychic drone, and that's only going to get worse. I think we need to take this out now, sooner rather than later. So, Willie and Draco, you're both coming home. Uh, we're going to have to wait till... Oh, well, Opossum will get their new name in a minute, but they're going to be processed. Uh, that will make them useful in the upcoming fight. Also, we'll give them a charge lance. That means we've got Chief Multi-Hat and Draco equipped with auto shotguns. Well, slug throwers. Willie and soon-to-be-named will have charge lances. Super long-range charge lances. But as well as that, Draco and Willie are coming back here for another reason. We have been saving a couple of these things. Where is it? There is... Sight Trainer Adrenaline Rush. I haven't been assigning these out because I wanted to save them for the thralls. And I'm thinking now is a good time to start issuing them. What's Speed Boost? That is under Warlord as well. Perfect. Now, the reason I went this one is 
Draco and Willy. Yeah, use those two side trainers if you wouldn't mind. This is going to open up a whole new side cast tree for them without costing us a point. And there you go. And the Warlord tree comes with all sorts of snazzy powers. And ooh, that is delicious. So we end up right there. What was it on? Speed boost? Okay, so we've got the option for speed boost and a bunch of this stuff. Oof. The ones I all like the one I always want to get is controlled frenzy. Psychically augments the caster's prowess and killing urges, doubling their damage output with all weapons. That includes ranged weapons. So their ranged weapons do twice as much damage, or their me melee ones. Each kill reduces the caster's neural heat by 10 and resets the duration of the frenzy. Meaning so long as they keep killing stuff, they'll constantly have double damage. That's huge. That means they should be able to just, just about one-shot everything. I mean, okay, if they hit a finger on someone, it's not going to do anything, but... Hmm... And Willy here does have two points, but they definitely want one in Controlled Frenzy, and then that leaves over either Guided Shot or Speed Boost. Speed Boost means they can run away. Guided Shot means they can't miss. Basically, for a short period of time, doubles their weapon range and guaranteed hits for the duration. I definitely want this long term, and I was really hoping we'd wait a bit longer before we had to use it. Or do we want Speed Boost? I'm thinking, thinking Guided Shot. Yeah, and... Draco here, they only have one point to burn, so it's got to be Controlled Frenzy. But we can then... Might as well get them the Speed Boost one, right? Yeah, you can have the Speed Boost side trainer. There is a Neuroquake and a Flame Ball, but you know what? No. We want you to grab that. All right, then. So, you two are towed up. Willie, though, I want you to pop over here, and I want you to force equip a jump pack. There is a jump jet pack over there. It turns out war caskets can use jump jet packs, or, well, they can at least equip them. I don't know if they can use them. We'll find out, I suppose, after uh, they get hooked up. Yes, yeah, seems to be working. They have five jumps on it, so... Cool. Damn it, where's the newbie? No, 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 newbie. Come back here. I'm going to equip your war chas casket charge lance. And it's time for you to get your new name. Your killer name. Their killer name is Catgirl Diogenes. Uh, welcome. To, I mean, okay. Uh, you really root. Like, I had a... Uh, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I think I'm going to want one more jump jet pack before I go after these guys. Tyler, could you give me a bit of a word of productivity on Muppet there? And as well as that, I think I'm going to get all of these guys to go back to doing... Oh, anything. I don't want them meditating just for the moment. We want to keep them maybe grabbing stuff around the place. Just so that everything gets done until we're ready to take on these guys. Oh, plague. Now. Timing. Terrible. Don't want plague. Fine, it's four people. Draco, Muppet, Zoe, and Bjorn. Okay, then I think we give all of them proper medicine just for the time being. We, we can't half ass this because we're about to be facing a whole bunch of mechanoids. Ugh, awkward. Oh, ex excellent. Exotic goods trader has shown up. That is excellent timing. Um, This means we can dump off a bunch of our diseases on them. Uh, our sick people don't have to worry so much. That means we can take the worst people. Oh, that's assuming none of them have scars or anything we really care about. Actually, yeah, we're pretty... Oof, no, no, no. What the hell? Why do you so many of you have... Ah, oh, you're perfect. So, you have hearing loss. So, one, two, three, four. So, there's at least four of you. Perfect, because we have at least four people with plague. Zoe and Muppet have the weakest immune system for some reason, and they're not quite holding this off as much as they would like. But that's fine. We're going to dose them with Luciferium. Uh, ideology forbids it. Come on, Zoe, seriously? What's your... I mm, Bjorn, how much would it convert to under 6.1%? You are just... Mm, so frustrating. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just have to get rid of these diseases that you've currently got anyway. But I thought we could get rid of some Luciferian problems simultaneously. Well, it is what it is. All right, let's find out which one of you is going to be the lucky winners. And it's... This guy, Ivan. Ivan, would you please take Zoe's problems? There you go. And next up, we've got Macmillan. Yep, you can take Muppet's problems. Yep. There you go. And that means Zoe and Muppet are now completely free. 
Uh, psychite productivity, psychic productivity, but no luciferium dependency. Perfect. You two can get back to work. Uh, Wojciech and Tyler, you will not be able to do another one of those. They can only do that, um, uh, health swap once every 12 hours. So 12 hours from now, they can do it if the other two are having problems, but I'm thinking they'll be fine. Uh, though it would, might be nice to get Bjorn on some luciferium. Eh, we'll see. I should maybe do up a ring of... Actually, I should do up a ring of that. Can Wojciech churn one of those out? Nope, Tyler should be able to then. Yeah, Tyler can totally use the Psycrafting ring, get a set of health swap, and we can start getting everyone onto Luciferium. We only have two health swap people available, which means, uh, well, it takes us a time to do this. Uh, take Luciferium. That means we should be able to get four people per caravan onto Luciferium, and then send them, well, convert that Luciferium need and dump it onto someone else so we don't suffer from it. Just have to make sure I don't give us any scares while doing this. This is so much better. Like, there is a whole health tree with healing broken limbs and stuff like that. No, 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 no. Dump your problems on someone else, including your addictions. It's just so much handier this way. That is the loss of two Luciferium addictions and one plague. Yep, plague is gone. Luciferium is kept, but no one's got any Luciferium need. That is just... Mm, beautifully, deliciously broken. Anyway, everyone back to work. Uh, that means there's only one person left with Plague, that's Draco, and they, well, they've already got Luciferium in their bloodstream, so they don't care. They are going to smash this, and then we're going to go, and we're going to smash ourselves a whole bunch of these. I hope we can do this in a truly dramatic fashion, to the point where we're going to have to crank up the difficulty shortly, but I'm not sure. We mightn't have hit peak power levels yet. We're still a few people short, and a few weapons short, but we're getting there, and... Once we get this next crop in, I think we shall have enough money to go hunting for the last of the resources to hit that power level. Well, buggery. We've got a raid from the Tox group. Attacking immediately, unusually clever, avoid turrets, the usual malarkey. Now, I was over here putting in some doors. I wanted to put in some doors, I wanted to put in some walls, and we were going to, like, sneak in here and shoot over at these guys, and then get a bunch of shots off, and then retreat back behind the doors, and then maybe run back here... Or well, they'd have to go the long way around, and, you know, stuff like that. That's not a thing now. we got to deal with these, and we got to deal with these immediately. You guys, uh, you guys need to all retreat back to here. We're going to get, in fact, the entire team backed up and ready to go. In fact, we'll get the entire team over here. Except for Jason. Jason? Uh, inject go juice. You are in a real precarious situation right there, and I'm thinking we can risk the addiction. We have ways of dealing with addiction now. And while you're on your way out... Oh, damn it! Run, 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 run! Oh god, that was super risky. Run! 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 Okay. You guys, uh, I want you to stretch out there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Jason, run, 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 run. What's your speed? 4.66, 4.70. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Our heavy hitters are right behind them. Oh, yeah. We've only got a few to deal with. They've got a lot more. Hmm. Now, the theory is, these guys should slaughter these. And then once they're finished, they'll return back to protecting the Psychic Droner. Uh, which means... Ooh. You know what, let's just cancel those two for now. We don't want anyone doing anything stupid, and I'd, I'd forget about it. I'd obviously... Oh! There's another group over here. Well, that's a problem. We'll take care of that problem in a minute. First problem is this set over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Keep a little bit to the side. That works out just about perfectly. Beautiful. Uh, tox group guys are fleeing because it turns out toxic weaponry have no effect on things made of steel. Takes them a while to realize that, but don't worry, it's fine. Uh, these guys are about to break in the front door. Hmm. 
I am not looking forward to dealing with toxic group weaponry in close combat situations. Uh, we need to run through here, everyone get through, and we're going to put a time sphere on the front door, and we're going to age them into oblivion. Uh, let me think, though, there's got to be a... Uh, what other options do we have? Right, calming down a little bit, letting the adrenaline cor course down just, just a tad. We're going to have Chris tend to Jason. Jason here has got 16 hours left. They're going to bleed out from that left leg, the slash they got from the Scyther, one of these guys. Whatever, they're dead now. Uh, we've got to hope these Scythers don't come down this direction. They shouldn't. They should be contained over there. Uh, we get everyone else, and we send them over this direction. Now, we do have a few things we can do to speed this up. Draco has speed boost. This psychically augments their muscle fibers, blah, blah, blah. They move three times faster. Off you go. Willie, you have adrenaline rush, and uh, basically makes them faster as well. Uh, Catgirl's got nothing going on, unfortunately. A few people do have go juice on them, but I don't want to use that just yet. Hmm. Okay, that should be enough for now. Let's get the team moving. Okay. You start. Yep, they've got some extra welly on them now. We gotta watch out for this one. This one has a triple rocket launcher on them. And what we want to do is kill... Oh my god, where are they going? Uh, you get right there. Like just shoot anyone that comes in the door. Controlled frenzy. Doubling the damage output. Yeah, there we go. Are you... Oh my god, they just went into desecrated temple. They're like, yep, we got everything we need. Let's go desecrate this temple, ladies. Uh, okay, Chief Multi-Hat's good. Willie. Uh, you are... Okay, your neural heat's a bit high, but that's fine. Operate your marksmanship command. Alright. Uh, that guy should come back this way in a second. Is that a tox bomb? Probably. This is going to suck. Yep, over here. Oh, guys! 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 How? Quick, 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 quick. Shoot the guy with the triple rocket launcher who's trashing our tables. Okay, I'm sorry, but how have you missed this guy? There, much better. Uh, Tyler, oh god. Yeah, what's the toxic levels like in here? Uh, not so bad. I'm just checking, yeah, tox gas. It's harder to see in here. I'm not sure if we're dealing with a lot of it or we just have enough firepower to crush everything that comes near us. Yeah, there we go. That's the firepower level we wanted. Whew. Anyway. Are there... There's not a single one that's a live prisoner. Well, there's some over here, but that's because the Scythers are like wimps about this sort of stuff. Right. I think we got them. A few people may have got some tox exposure. No. A uh, gunshot to the toe. Is that it? Huh. That's actually pretty good. Huh. I'm kind of shocked. And you've had your leg tended, and those two can get back to it. Done. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Let's maybe grab a few more before we go. Come on. Let's make sure as few of them escape alive as possible. Oh, there goes a head. Damn it. They took out a door. Draco is just moving at speed. Now imagine Draco's speed, but combine it with a charge lance and double damage. And now you're see starting to see where this is going to go. The plan is to get all of them equipped eh, incredibly similar to Willy. Except they would have access to the uh, the increased speed movement that Draco's got. So they'd have the, uh, the speed boost. They'd have a drill and rush. Controlled Frenzy, and on top of that, they would have... Where is it? Ah, Guided Shot. So they'd be super fast, doing double damage, double range, and all their shots will hit. Armed with Charge Lances. So you just have to imagine a Charge Lance that does, well, 100 damage per hit, fires three shots per burst, meaning 300 damage per burst, and... Combined with that, that there's a few other things in here that are really tasty, like 80% reduction in attack cooldown. Combine that with the fact that they're all quick shooters, not quick shooters, 
they're all shooting specialists, which halves their aiming time. Not their cooldown. Their cooldown will be reduced by 80% from the side cast. Their attack aiming time will be reduced by 50% from being shooting specialists. And then throw on top of that, someone activates the marksmanship command, which will reduce it by a further 40% or a 0.4, like whatever. They'll basically be, it'll take them a tenth of the normal time to aim, uh, a twentieth of the normal time to recover from the aiming, and they'll be doing triple, like 300 points of damage and always hitting. It should be completely unstoppable for everything except for low shields. Low shields should be the only thing that stop you. But for that, we can just get some other stuff like lightning stuff or like... It won't make a difference. It'll be shooting from so far away, no one will care. Anyway, we're going to let everyone back to uh, grab some snacks and things, uh, do some repairs, and then we got to take care of this before this turns from a low drone to a high drone. And you guys can just bleed out and die over there. We don't want any of you. How many's left of these? 44? Yeah, I think we can, we can poke in from down here and start shooting at them and maybe draw a few down for the killing. I figure with the amount of firepower we got, so long as they don't swamp us and we can, like, shuffle them through or actually this choke point might be better if we can siphon them through a choke point we should be able to murder them quite handily well the drone has went to medium and it's putting a little bit of pressure on us so i think i think we activate the suit pulser just to buy us a little bit of time that gives everyone a something please tell me that gave everyone something strange feeling plus eight okay helps counteract the psychic drone just a little bit I think that once everyone grabs a bit of a nap and some food, we're going to have to go over there and take them out before this becomes a uh, more painful problem. We have blasted a hole in the wall, we've run back, and it's time we got someone who's pretty zippy to run up and maybe draw their attention so that we can convince a few of them to come in here and get shot at. Who's our fastest? Our fastest is Bjorn. Um, That's enough of that, Bjorn. Run! Now, I'm thinking it's time for some controlled frenzy on you. Draco, you're also going to do a controlled frenzy. And then a siege mode. You don't need a siege mode. Your siege mode is already amazing. Seriously? Uh, I'd get... Fine, we shall... No, we can't shoot that one. Fine, we'll shoot that one. Then we'll shoot that one. And shoot that one. We've got some major break risks going on here. We need to get this done faster. Come on. This is actually working out really great because we're taking them out in small chunks. Uh, Bjorn, maybe run around a little bit more in circles there. This is not perfect. This is not perfect. Uh, Chief, maybe hit that one, then hit that one. You can hit that one, and then that one. You can, yeah, just go nuts. Bjorn, nope. Sorry about that, buddy. I completely forgot about you for a second. Woo. All right, then. Let's maybe move up a little bit closer and start this with a more aggressive slant to us. And let's try a marksmanship command from someone. There we go. A little bit more uh, shooty shooty. Dear God. The amount of firepower we can actually put out with those war casket ones. Plus those charge weapons they've got, the plasma cannons over there, they're pretty nasty. And, yeah, that Psychic Frenzy just does not wear off as long as you've got stuff to kill. And considering the range on those weapons and the damage they output, killing stuff doesn't seem to be a problem. They do it rather quickly. And I think that's just about... Yeah, there's like three left. And once this is done, we can take out... Yeah, we're going to have to start getting into the void soon, but I'd like to have our little squad of five finished before we do that. Well, we've got this broken open. We've got ourselves some extra components, uh, some plasteel, yeah, 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 whatever. And we can haul all of that back. In fact, oh, yeah, we can take all of those. This can be scrapped up as well. All of those corpses. In fact, all of you guys, you can all be added to the corpse pile so that we can absorb you for mana. That is actually nice. 
Well, okay, we're going to lose some of the corpses. I'm sure the raid will kick in at some point. I'm just... Uh, I'm not too bothered. Tyler, Tyler had a little bit of a mental break there, but that's fine. They've gotten over it. No more fire starting. You'll be... Oh, you'll be grand. It'll be... It'll be all fine. I totally forgot that quest with the toxic waste. Ah! Yep, that's what you get for getting distracted. Well, in all fairness, that plane was pretty cool. Which reminds me, we've got a... 416 flake, and we'll soon have more drugs on top of that. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join these two zombie thralls in unholy matrimony. Uh, what death has brought together, or whatever, lobotomization has brought together, let no men tear asunder. One really likes trees. Actually, they both really like trees. They actually have the same religion now that I think about it. They're going to be perfectly happy together. Idris, what are you doing? Uh, maybe don't stand in between them. That's like, don't be a third wheel, Idris. Uh, I wouldn't annoy them either. They're incredibly tough. I suppose they're not really designed for close combat. Oh, and some uncertainty just dropped. That's uh, a nice side effect. Okay, you get, you everyone socialize up at this wedding. Socialize as much as you like. We would like you all to drop your, uh, your religions as quickly as possible and join the one true religion. One thing I want to get around to is getting Zoe... Um, I know Catgirl is supposed to be the next one up to get side powers, but I want to get Zoe in on this now. Reason being is she's our psychically hypersensitive pawn, and we need to start getting her moving that direction. Also, uh, we sort of have a bunch of bodies we'd like her to absorb down here. This should increase her mana by 45? So Zoe's going to be looking quite nice after she gets uh, even just one dose of this. We've got a Psy Ring down here she can wield her, is it? Yep. Oh, not the Drain Assassin's one. The Drain Corpse one. She's got that one. Makes this far easier on her. The rest of these can keep worshipping at the tree, and once Catgirl, I think, has gotten their Psy levels and Muppet, we can then stop worshipping at the tree and move them on. Alright, uh, Zoe, what are you doing for now? You are relaxing socially, but once that's over, I think it's time for you to consume some corpses. We actually have the Psy Trainer for consumed bodies. We've picked it up ages ago, I've forgotten about that, so that means they can automatically get that, which opens up that tree. Actually saves them a bit of effort. It's just the less points we spend on getting them spells spells and stuff, the easier it is for them to work. Okay, let's see. Uh, requires 83% Psy Focus. How do you not have maxed out Psy Focus? What have you been doing that you don't have maxed out Psy Focus? We should have you. You're entirely on. Meditate. Get in there. Uh, otherwise, the bodies are going to be stinking by the time you get back. They're dead for... Oh, they're frozen. Never mind. They're frozen for now, but that's not going to last. And how did I not open all these doors already? Everyone's taking their long way around. Right, after a hard day of meditating and such like, she's up to 85% Psy Focus, 63% 63 Neural Heat is all she can afford, and with one swift consumed corpse, she's going to go from 63 to 108 Neural Heat. And we've cleaned up all the corpses. Or, or is that clean? Uh, okay, there's some corpse bile left behind, but, you know, that's temporary. Or, you know, Neural Heat is forever, corpse bile washes away with the next rain. Uh, we've also been researching compad vehicles. Why not? We'll even research the, the complex ones. I don't really see a point to it, but we'll go for it. We're kind of at the point now where we're smashing through the tech tree. We've got enough decent people that we can almost call it quits. I just want to hire two more uh, murder thralls. Uh, Draco, in fact, could get their armor upgraded. That might be an idea to take out of, get out of the way with now. We'll just put them into the new higher tech suits. Wait, wait, we can't do this. We only have nine components. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that was it. I built a bunch of jump jet packs. That's why we've only got nine components. Though we do have a sufficient quantity of uranium. And we do have the plasteel. So we're just short. Yeah, okay. We, we definitely need to start sending out the plane again for more com more uh, component shopping. I have gone way over time. And by way over time, I mean I went literally to an hour and 20 minutes. So I've loaded back up the game a little bit in the past. So I'm going to take that footage and push it forward to tomorrow's episode. Otherwise, this thing would have been, well, way over the, what YouTube likes. Uh, I'll be doing some more RoomWorld tomorrow because I'm still trying to get my wrap my head around Notia. Not Notia? Whatever. But uh, what we can expect is, well, basically two more of these zombie thralls armed with these charge lances. They're just ridiculously OP. We're going to give them the psi powers. We're going to turn them into automatic, just plasma laying down murder machines. I, I swear to God, I didn't think the thralls were going to be the... the the main attraction of this, but they definitely are. They're just so overpowered, especially when you give them this armor. That armor looks absolutely amazing. 
And the fact that they've got their own little tree over here, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it, it's all just beautifully working out. Zoe is also going to work on becoming incredibly overpowered, considering she's only got, what, one level in, or two levels in Psychos, and she's already got 108 Neural Heat. She's going to work out just fine. Oh, and that plane will be doing a lot more trading as well. We're going to need a lot more components. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. <laughs>